Today's a very important day. Actually, a very important few days. Miss A is here with us. It is her spring break. She gets three to four days with us, which is like the longest we've had um, since her returning home like a year and a half ago. You wanna tell them what's happening? What are we doing? We're gonna be interview clothes for Kaya. Yep, she is going in for an interview and we need to get her, we only have like 30 minutes, so we're gonna be getting in there, getting it and going. And now, yeah. yeah. So we gotta prepare you for your interview. What are your strengths? Wait, Whitney. Oh, wait. <laughs> what are the strengths that you can bring to the job? Uh, the last time I, the, my first interview, I would say um five times. Like every time I, I after I say the strength, I say um after. But it was it was over the phone. Yeah. So what's I don't think they'll hold that against you. That bad. So what's your strengths? Why should they hire you? I am very resilient, hardworking. I have good communication skills. Mm -hmm. You're and dependable. I love to help people. Oh yeah, yeah. that's good. Cause I, I was trying to figure out what where that will be, but there it is. Yeah, hardworking, dependable. Those are definitely yeah. two very strong attributes. What are your weaknesses? True question, you don't have any weaknesses. Right. <laughs> Darcy and I are heading to Target. John's birthday is tomorrow and we need to get a few things. We also need to get Miss A some hair supplies because she's taking her braids out um, and we had previously given her all of our um, leftover shampoos and conditioners and hair products. Um, so we're running to Target really quick to get the birthday stuff and get some probably Shea Moisture um, shampoo conditioner, maybe a deep conditioner because um, I know she sometimes likes to put uh, that in her hair as well afterwards. Time to show you guys what I got at Target. So in the dollar spot, they had these customizable boxes. I thought this would be perfect for kids who are looking to save money. And because I was able to get a sponsorship on TikTok with Cricut, I now have a Cricut Explore 3. It's gonna be perfect to create personalized items. And I thought that this was a really practical um, piece um, and then I can put like a vinyl cutout on the front specific to what the kid is saving for. I got two of those, $5 each. Had to get some candy for the Easter egg hunt that is gonna be very soon. Got some hair products. Um, so like I said before, we uh, gave Miss A our uh, previous products um, from our last placement leaving. Uh, we knew we were gonna be taking a long break. We wanted the products to get used. So it's definitely time to um, stock back up now that our home is open and we might get children with black hair and we wanna make sure we have good quality products. And Shea Moisture, uh, this is actually a new type. It's raw Shea Butter. It's supposed to be nine times the moisture. And then we got a deep treatment mask as well. And then for John's birthday, um, I had actually purchased something that he had been asking for. Um, it is actually on its way, but then he told his uh, parents also that it was something he wanted and they bought it. So I have to cancel that. And we actually are gonna be going to the Reds game, Reds opening day, but it's not really opening day. So that's his real gift, but I wanted to get him something he could open on his birthday. So I saw this fun thing. It's a desktop punching bag. I feel like he could use this. Sometimes, you know, there are things that happen and he gets frustrated. Um, so this will come in handy. And then I got a couple of things for the kids. Easter baskets, a couple of grab and goes. These are uh, peeps, but they're bath bombs. And I definitely don't wanna like overload the kids with candy and sugar, like they're gonna get plenty. So they're baskets. I like to put some like fun stuff. And then I got these cheese markers for my sister because she's like a charcuterie board master. So I thought she could use that. Time to give you guys a recap of our time with Miss A and what happened with her job. The days just like flew by. I tried to stay up late every single night, like till midnight, just to get more time with her. We ended up watching three different movies. We watched all of Lizzo's new show, um, Watch Out for the Big Girls. Love that show. We just kind of hung out. She was able to see some of our family. 
Um, but yeah, we didn't really have anything super exciting this time around. And for her, she kind of prefers that. She doesn't like to be like going to a whole bunch of different places. She likes to just chill. Um, so it worked out best for everyone. And to update you guys on her job, so she's actually been working. She works a lot of hours uh, while maintaining really high grades at school, but her hourly pay is fairly low. And so she saw an opportunity, her and some of her friends, had seen that Kings Island was paying significantly more. So that's why she decided to um, go ahead and apply for Kings Island. It's a specific department that pays um, a lot higher than others. And so when I dropped her off, um, she went in by herself. I was waiting in the parking lot and she came out and she was like, off. I could tell something was just off. And before she went in, I had told her, like just given her some tips about, you know, try to show that like you're a hard worker and that you're flexible and stuff like that. Well, um, the person had said that the department that you know paid the highest amount that she wanted to be a part of, they were kind of reaching capacity and the recruiter asked if she would be interested in you know, going into a different department. And I think she was taken a little bit off guard. She didn't know what to do, so she agreed. And then she found out that that other department doesn't pay that much more than where she's currently at. So it wouldn't have made sense to her to leave her old job, to take a job at Kings Island, which is much farther for her. Her plan is to ride the bus. Um, hopefully she can stay with us if she has consecutive days where she's working, because we, we live pretty close. That's something that we're gonna see if we can work out with her parents. But yeah, just making sure that she can get to and from work. Um, she also has friends who who drive, so you know she, she has many, many different options. It wouldn't just be on her parents. But yeah, so she didn't wanna take the job if it wasn't gonna pay at that higher rate, because it just didn't make sense to her to jump through all those hoops and not get that much more than she's already getting right now. So she was a little bummed, um, pretty disappointed. She was beating herself up a little bit, thinking that she had like really messed up. And I told her, you know, hey, we'll just call tomorrow. Like, it's not gonna be a big deal. We can talk to somebody. Maybe we can get them to work it out. So the next day we ended up calling the recruiting office and we spoke with somebody. They asked a few questions, they checked with their boss and they switched it in the system. So yeah, she's really, really excited that she was able to get that higher paying job. Um, she really is a hard worker. And so I know she saves her money. She's hoping to get a car next year. So all of this is for her to save, save, save and probably spend it on food. I think she spends a lot of money on food too. And then when it was time to take her home, she actually had a doctor appointment that I took her to and then I dropped her off. Um, this is kind of what we talk about how, you know, if you can, if you can continue to have relationships with these kids and these families, um, you have that trust built. You can really be that ongoing support uh, for that family. So for us, like it's not a huge deal for us to take her to an appointment. It was an extra 30 minutes out of our day when we were already gonna drop her off, but you know, our parents trusted us to do that. And I shared with you guys in the previous video that our home is open to placement calls. I will let you know that we have gotten placement calls. It has been few and far between, and sometimes it's not a call, but it's an email, um, but we have gotten contacted. And a number of those really didn't work out and there's one that's still a possibility. Um, and that's something that we might be able to share with you to an extent that's a situation that we would clear with our caseworker um, before we were to share anything with you guys on the channel. But there really weren't that many um, referrals. And so I was starting to kind of be curious about, you know, well, are do they think we're still on hold? Um, so I reached out to our caseworker to check and actually it's a good thing, you know, more families are staying together and they're exploring kinship um, for those families who are, you know, needing a little bit of support. And kinship refers to if a child is placed outside of the home, Kinship is either a blood or non-blood relative, family, friend, who already has an existing relationship with that family or child. Um, so there's a little bit more familiarity and um, that's gonna be what's best for the kid. So in these cases, we don't mind that we're not getting calls. Um, we are in a smaller county since we moved counties, not our home, um, but our license to foster. Uh, so there definitely are not gonna be as many calls 
But yeah, hopefully we can um, update you guys in a little bit about what that has looked like. But that's it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys what we've been up to. Nothing crazy, not a whole lot to report, but we will be talking to our agency to find out what we can share about what's been happening. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.